Do you know what trance is? If you're really curious about things like theory or history, Google it. I don't want this video to be a National Geographic of something. For me, trance is this track, and it's a true masterpiece. Trance is a pretty straightforward genre to make, and I'll show you how. And for this tutorial, I'll explain every layer of the sound I added, because for this genre sound selection is the most important part of the producing. First, write down the chords. I use these sounds to make a pad. To avoid making a mess, it's important to choose sounds without crazy attack or release. I use these sounds. This one is a plucky pad, but I finally chopped it. It'll help the arc, which I'll add later. This is fourth pad, but it contains crazy amount of release. Of course you can modify the ADSR to lower the release level, but in this case I used this trick. If you shorten the pad with a lot of release, it gives a little variation to your pad, making it more interesting. Now this is how the full pad sounds like. For the ARP, I use these layers. This first one is for some attack and texture. The second one is for open super saw vibe, which is crucial for this genre. The third one is added for some acoustic feeling. For my opinion, using synth violin is better than putting a real violin for this genre, as it goes far better with other synth sounds. The fourth one is a main sound, which gives this arp a strength and power. The fifth one is added to slightly support the mid-range. Finally, I added a white noise to brighten up the ARP. But as I wanted this ARP to be wider, I put an audio imager to the support roll sounds like first, third, and fifth layer, and widened them. The reason I didn't put imager on whole ARP is to maintain the power of the sound. I don't want to lose it by widening them too much. Now this is how the ARP sounds like. Next, we'll make the bass. Nothing crazy happening here. The first and second layer is for extra attack and texture. The third one is the main bass, and acid bass like this goes really well with trance. Also I cut the super lows of my basses and put a sub bass, because as you can see, I made a crazy octave jump pattern, and it can make the low frequency unstable. Now this is how the bass sounds like. The drum is the easiest part. All you need to do is to spam the kicks, put a tiny snare every second and fourth beat, add some hi-hats, and finish it with crash. This is how the drum sounds like. For the second part, I copy and pasted the drop, and all I did was to change the chord progression a little bit. Now, everything is ready to go. But before I show you the final result, don't forget to leave like and subscribe, so that you don't miss a new tutorial video. Thank you so much.